And I'm looking around at that Irish team last night, and look, last night it, it was what it was. It was a stroll in the park, but the Greek game, I don't see leaders. And that Matt Doherty's obviously not playing an awful lot, so he's probably a little bit tired. Doesn't have the, he's not he's not there to be talking to people. Shane Duffy, I don't think is the most confident person in the world because he got bombed by Stephen Kenny, and now he's been brought back in when times are bad. I just don't, I don't think anybody's really confident in that team. And then even our best players, like Benny. I don't think he he doesn't really he's not a talker he's one that'll get the ball and try it's and score that team way. From the right wing, like exactly, you, you want your yeah. central midfielders to be the ones who are like who have the personality. Yeah, but it's it's so hard when like I know Cullen is doing okay for Burnley, but if you're Cullen and you're losing the ball and you, like it, so many sideways and backwards passes, I mean I, I would be putting stipulations on him in training that you've, you're playing two touch and every pass has to be forward. And I would tell the lads in training, don't get on his back because what we're doing is we're trying to get it into his head that he has to pass forward. When we're 3 nil up and we want to keep the ball and we're just trying to yeah, kill the game, no yeah. problem, pass sideways and backwards. But when, when we're, I just, I'd love to see Cullen take a touch, get it out of his feet and play forward into Evan Ferguson's feet. I, I, like his pass map is so sideways and backwards and safe. It's, you know, anybody could do them passes in there. You mentioned that Duffy was bombed out of the team and that harms his confidence. Would you have dropped Nathan Collins last night? Uh, I, I think Scales picks himself because uh, of the Champions League. He's he's obviously if you don't play him, he's gonna he's gonna bang down the door. Duffy, yeah, I can see why Duffy was 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 played against Gibraltar. The only real threat that Gibraltar were ever gonna have in the game was from set pieces. So you could say I put Duffy in there for that. But the, the, the Nathan Collins, I think it was the, the Greek second goal. The, the ball gets played in behind and Nathan Collins is with him. He's in control of the situation, the ball over the top and Nathan Collins tries to play offside on the halfway line. He just hits the brakes and lets him go and then he looks at the linesman. The linesman says, no, he's on. And he runs after him then but even then he doesn't engage. He's very standoffish and I think, you're so, so low on confidence and then he got taken off at half time and that's another another kick and he, did, he doesn't play. So Nathan has done very, very well for us but that decision not to track that player, I mean... I know Nathan College is not very Van Dyke, but if that's Van Dyke in his prime, he just eases over there, deals with the problem. And he, like the fact that you're looking for the Lions when you're looking or somebody help me, somebody help me, go and deal with it yourself. He's good enough. He's, we've seen him play for Brentford. He can do it. And it, again, when we say he plays in tight areas for Brentford, he has the midfielders that he'll just go, bang, you have it. If he does that to Cullen and he loses it, then it's like, but why did he play that ball in there? And it's a knock on effect, and he's getting a little bit of the blame when it does break down. So I'd, I'd start. I'd start uh, I just started pumping a long, a long, long time ago. I have to be honest. I, I lost all confidence in this in this uh, formation a long time ago.